We're really excited. We're at Alliance RV in Elkhart, Indiana. It's still a little chilly out. That's why I got my hoodie on. We are here picking up our Paradigm that was here for warranty work. But while we're here, we thought we'd meet up with Joe hey, and everybody. do a couple tours of beautiful Alliance Avenues. Today, what are we going to tour? We are going to tour the all new Avenue 38 DBL. This thing's coming in right over 41 feet and has a dry weight right around 12,400 pounds. All right, I took a sneak peek and walked through. This is pretty amazing. It has two bedrooms and a loft. Yes. So I'm really excited to show you guys. All right, let's go tour. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Martha's talking about. It's not that cold. Joe and I have t-shirts on. How's it the Alaskan is talking about cold in yeah. Indiana? Woo! What is up with that? Lost your street cred. Maybe I'm just promoting our hoodies. Oh, that's what it was. So let's talk about why we're really here. This beautiful avenue. Um, give you the numbers here. Gross vehicle weight rating is 15,995 pounds. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of 12,426 pounds. It's got dual axles with 6,800 pounds and gives you a cargo capacity of 3,509 pounds. I will say that that's one thing I love about Alliance. You don't come at them with a 1,200 pound cargo capacity. Nope. Yep. So walk us around, tell us, All let's right. start in the front. Well, why don't we start in the front here? Yeah, you're gonna have a nice front storage here where you can easily add what we call our off the grid package. So you can uh, add that inverter, add some of the additional solar prep that you need. It does come standard with the 200 watt solar panel and the 60 MPPT charge controller. Uh, this is also where your battery bay is gonna be for your disconnects. Um, you do have electric leveling on this coach. And then one of my favorite things about the front has to be this automotive front cap. It's painted front cap, it's fiberglass, it's beautiful. Uh, we have stuck to our guns on saying Alliance on the front cap of every trailer. Um, and then we got the all new Kurt Rotaflex uh, pin box up here that has this extra plate to help reduce that shucking, right? Um, then if we go to the off, uh, if we go to the campsite here, there's a couple really cool features that we added to the Avenue line just recently. So in the pass through storage here, you got that rubber coin plate. It's similar to what you would find in a toy hauler. So it's that real sturdy rubber coin. Uh, 72 inch LED, fu LED diffused light that's on a motion sensor. And then over here you have three-way switches to control your awnings and slide outs. So you can, you can I think that's the back awning. Uh, let me get this one. So I can put the awning out. So if you have that's a cool. tree or anything like that, also the, the top button controls the slide. So I call it death to walkie talkies. <laughs> exactly. So that way you don't have to, you know, honey, hey, how close am I? Or you have to right. peek out the door. It just makes it a much more efficient safety thing yeah. when you're outside. One of the things I love that Alliance always does is the wide body, 101 inch wide body. Yes. You don't think that's too much until you walk down a hallway. That's where I always notice it when we're walking floor plans. The difference of the few inches in a hallway matters. And that's yes. where the wide body really shows itself. There's one other thing on the outside of this avenue that we don't want to overlook. This is key really like. important. Very key to like. Nobody likes having a stack of keys when you're <laughs> dealing with an RV. And I know when we first started, we ended up with a pile and I lost one of the sets of keys in the truck bed. Yes. I ended up driving all the way to Alaska with no keys. Had to leave everything unlocked. Oh no. Yeah. So <laughs> key to like one key, that's a winner. Makes a big difference. And you might have an ex, if you get like a Valor, sometimes there's little different keys, but you'd have two keys max. Right. 30 gallon propane tanks. Um, we do leave a little bit of room in there so you could potentially go to a 40 if you needed to. Um, That's a lot. And then as we go back here, I mean, check out the two huge awnings that you got. So you got two really nice campsites on the campsite here. Uh, and then you talked about those beefier springs running yes. gear, carrying capacity. Yes. You know, we do have our performance running gear. A lot right. of times on mid profile fifth wheels, they'll skip the running gear right. and they'll, they'll make that the, the price reduction. Right. Whereas we go beefier and you're going to find this performance running gear, rather that be an Avenue or an Avenue all access, yep. which might be overkill on the all access, but it still just improves the safety of your tow ability when you're driving down the road. Yeah. And what that is for uh, those of you that like to nerd out like I do, <laughs> that's the Moride CRE 3000. It's going to be the heavy duty shackles. It's going to be the wet bolt kit. It's going to be a two inch torsion tube. Oh, two inch torsion tube, yep. making it nice and rigid. So that's yep. pretty freaking awesome. Yep. Those are upgrades that people spend money on. It's nice that you get it right from the factory. Yep. yep. And then we got to go to the back before we go inside. All right, let's go. go check out what's in the trunk. 
<laughs> uh, so back here we give you an outdoor kitchen area, 25 inch grill griddle combo. So you can get those, you know, saute those vegetables, get that burger going over here. We also have a little prep space and then a nice little mini fridge for your beverages. And then I always like to talk about the rear of the trailer too, because while it might, might not look like a lot, there is a lot going on back here. Yeah. Um, so with any app, with any Alliance product, period, you're going to see there's a little rubber plug up at the top. And what that is, is it's 12 volt wiring. So you can put any backup camera system that you want. And tell me mm -hmm. how great you guys are owners. Yes. Would we you guys like to be pigeonholed into one brand, which might be a great brand? Right, might be. But we went with a different brand, which isn't the normal one, yeah. and we love it. But having the freedom to put what you want on there, that's awesome, especially yes. the fact that you already have it set on a toggle switch on the inside. So you can turn it on, use it as a DVR, you can mm -hmm. kill it. So 100%. that's a nice option. Yep. And then one of my favorite features has to be the steel ladder. Oh. I mean, for a big boy like me, <laughs> I got to have a sturdy ladder. We have been raving about these ladders since Alliance put them on. The fact Delta, that you manufacture yeah. own ladders, they're all welded and yep. they're rated the 300 pounds and they don't flex. It's not like those little yeah. tube ones that everybody used to use. Yep. This is where it's at. We yep. just had ours updated on our paradigm. Did you? Nice. Now, nice. of course we did. And then <laughs> being dog owners, Miss Callie. Yes. So she gets a little stinky every now and then, I imagine, like my dogs do. And so, you know, put her leash right here, connect it up, give her a nice little bath with a spray port. I like it. Yeah. So, and then there's a couple spray ports located throughout the coach too. So if you need to rinse off stinky shoes, other stuff. So they actually can... This thing's rated the toe double. So you have a two inch Correct. receiver that yep. has a 300 pound tongue weight and a four flat on it. Yeah, you've got a four flat plug here and it's 3000 pound towing, 300 pound of weight on the top, um, coming down <laughs> on it. Got to throw that legal disclaimer, wear legal. Wear legal, <laughs> yes. Triple towing is not always legal, so be careful. So I want to take some credit for this, but I'm not going to. This is our story, right, Martha? <laughs> we did this before Alliance did. We <laughs> hey, customer-driven features. I like it. That's what Alliance so, is all about. A lot of people have seen that we put a Traeger on ours. In all seriousness, I love the fact that Alliance has done this. This yes. is brilliant because all of us run into the same problems. We all use, well, I won't say all. We chose to go with the more I tray. Alliance used the more, more I trade. trade. The quality has been incredible on oh, ours. Yeah. So, you know, this, great. the reliability of this is going to be great. It's not going to have any problems and it's going to be durable. Yeah. Uh, so, and then one last thing before we go inside, when you guys are camping and you're at the campsite and people are like, Hey, can I use your bathroom? You don't want to send them to your bathroom, right? You don't want, if you have kids, <laughs> but look, we give you a half bath located right off the entrance. So that way, if you do need to use it, it's right here and it's going to keep your bathroom nice and clean and hopefully not stinky. <laughs> I, you know, I like his professional approach to that. I don't know if I'm impressed or scared to death because if I come out of the campsite, the door is open and somebody's sitting on the throne, I'm going to be a little nervous. <laughs> You're going to have some majestic views. That's right? True. <laughs> exactly. That would be, that's a great throne right there. <laughs> right? Sign me up. So why is your trailer pointed at a 45 degree angle on the campsite? <laughs> it's the view. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So All right. There's a couple features out here yeah. we got to talk about. So obviously we're big proponents of Morite. Yep. We talk about their products a lot and I want to show why this for us is a great step. The Morite step aboves are awesome. This little piece right here yep. eliminated the need for a pen. So you can push that and adjust the place. It'll go in. It's that simple. I love that. It's super adjustable. So the Morai stairs are really nice. Yep. So he doesn't even have it balanced, but watch. Bam, Done. balanced. The other, safety rail. Yes. I love the safety rail. A, it goes all the way to the edge of the step. It's pretty sturdy. And then it collapses to the almost flush to the coach. Yeah. But one more thing about these steps that I personally love is we added a fourth step. Yeah. Right? Well, Morai did. Made it a smaller step to get up on the first one and then reduce the distance between the others. And then we give you a big, a bigger step at the very top. So when you're coming down, you have more room to land. Their, their claim to fame when we were over there that he said that this is as close to as a residential run on the stair and tread that you can get in an RV, yeah. which is what we're all accustomed to going up and down stairs yes. and houses and buildings. So this is as close generally would be a safer way to go. Less people are likely to have concerns. Yes, 100%. And like Joe highlighted, look how far the safety rail comes out. 
So yes. I've had two major ankle surgeries. So for me, that gives me better stability and it's really awesome accessory. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> All right, why don't you guys take a step in first? All right, you gotta come check this out. This is an amazing floor plan. When you walk in, here's the kitchen. I love that it is a U-shape, but you have plenty of space. You can actually have two people in here. Yeah. So Ton, you have, I mean, tons of space. Look. Yeah, see? I'm a bigger dude. Tons of space. So you could have two people cooking. You could have someone doing dishes. Yep. Yeah. I love it. Deep stainless steel sink, solid surface countertops. You got the plumbing shutoff valves down there. And that's oh, wow. soft close cabinets. Plumbing shutoff valves are a huge customer driven feature because we want to make sure that if this were to bust for some reason, you can shut the water source off at any major plumbing location. And then soft close cabinets, lots of storage. You got um, with magnetic catches. So that way when you're driving down the road, they're not going to shake loose. Which is very, very important. Yeah. 30 inch residential microwave. Check that out. And it's a convection it oven. Is. Yep. Ooh. Uh, and then something that's unique that I actually just learned yesterday for the first time. This is an aluminum ba black backsplash. Really? So oh. it's aluminum. Yeah. So that way, if, if it does get hot or anything like that, it's not going to, you know, the heat won't last very long at all. Um, and then directly across from that, you're going to have your huge refrigerator, French style that will open. So you have plenty of room in there. Check that out. And then we try to maximize just every inch of storage because as you guys are full-time RVers, you know, storage is a huge thing. And where can you put like little stuff that you don't necessarily use all the time, but you need, you know, check that out right above. What I found very cool is the pantry. All right, Joe, show yeah. us the pantry. Okay. That's really so fancy. this is really cool. So we redesigned it. So this was at the show at Tampa, but we made some big changes to this. And what we did is we added real hardwood in, like glazed hardwood, so you're not going to get like splinters. And then we added shelving in there, adjustable shelving, so you can put these anywhere you want to. What I love, it's adjustable too, so yes. you can put so, whatever you need in yeah, there. Yeah, if you need just one of these shelves up here and three down there, and you know, you could potentially order even more from us, from our parts team. Oh, that's good to know because yeah. some people may want that. Yeah, so if you're if you're finding yourself in need for more and you own this floor plan, just hit up parts at allianceRV.com and we'll probably send you some. All right, I love the dining space yeah. over here. So you have a bench and you have a couple chairs. Yes, so really unique. So you have the two chairs and then you do have the the there's no pedestal in the middle there. So it's a free floating table and what we call it is it's no knee knocking. So you're not going to bang your knee when you're playing cards or eating your cereal, whatever. We also added a bench on this side because it's movable. And so it can double as an ottoman for the cross conversational seating that we'll talk about in a minute. And there is storage inside of it as well. Oh, wow. So we'll store your blankets, anything like that. So that's like a triple thing right there. So a yes. bench, ottoman and storage. Yes. So, you know, with RVers, I mean, that's important to have at least two different uses for things. And you're giving us three and it matches. Yes. And it matches very well. And yeah. another thing I want to highlight with Alliance, what we absolutely love is the atrium windows. Oh, so yeah. the wherever Huge. you're at, this is campsite. You will have the best views and it's also emergency exit. So safety yep. first. Well, and all of our windows are going to fully open and you guys being full-time RVers, you know that if you're cooking broccoli or anything like that, you want that to get out real fast. Or, bro or, or bacon. <laughs> or bacon. Or if it's just a nice crisp day that feels good and you don't want the, you don't need the ACs of the heat. Yeah. Let in all that airflow. It'll be great. Yeah. Chris and I, we love boondocking. So having these windows open the 50%, you get really good cross breeze. Yeah. And they're, they're being huge too. You're getting a lot of natural light too. Now, something really unique. Once you head over there and I'll sit here, this floor plan, you're not going to find, there might be similar floor plans on the market, mm -hmm. but you're not going to find a coach that has cross conversational seating. So we can actually talk to each other and enjoy the movie or the game or whatever we're watching. Yeah. And then over there too, you have more guests sitting in the dinette area. They can look this way. So you're talking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight people in here comfortably. That's awesome. That's using maximizing the space in here. Yeah. And the couch you're sitting on is a sleeper sofa. So it's about the size of a full size bed. Um, so if you did need additional additional sleeping room beyond what's in the bedroom behind mm -hmm. us here, um, you could put them out here as well. 
Or let's be real, if you want to just veg out and watch movies here in the living room, you could just put the bed out. <laughs> yeah, and bam, you, know? you got a 50-inch TV, Furion soundbar, electric fireplace. Hook up your gaming system. Just yeah. bring back Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, you know what? I support that. Let's start a movement. Yes. Hashtag bring back Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> that's going to be awesome. <laughs> that's going to be a short. We're going to make that into a reel for sure. Uh, yep, Thank put you. your Xbox up there. You can put a little hole down to drop it into your TV. Yeah, great spot. Tons of storage. Soft closed cabinets. And then the part that they've probably been waiting for has to be the loft, right? In the bedroom. Yeah, we're almost there. Oh. So above the sleeper sofa, you got additional storage. That is strut assisted, so it will hold. So you can put your blankets up there with, if you only have one hand. Yes. All right, we're going to check out the back bedroom. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's save that for last. Ooh, Let's go to the front. Let's check out the watching. bathroom <laughs> and the bedroom. All right. So this is the bathroom by the master bedroom. For perspective, I'm about five, six on a good day. Plenty of space in here. It's pretty spacious. They have a little shower head that's detachable. I think Chris could fit in here. We'll check that out in a minute. Porcelain foot flush toilet. And those porcelain toilets is a feature you're gonna find across the board at Alliance. So the linen closet was pretty neat. All you do is you just slide the door this way and you have access. So you don't have to worry about opening the cabinet traditionally. Plenty of space in there. Another great thing about the bathroom too is there's an illuminated light switch. So if you do need to use the bathroom at night, you can see it. So under the sink, you have the shutoff valves. You have a couple drawers. Additionally, you're gonna find a max air fan, a ducted AC. You're gonna have a shelf with these little robe hooks. And they look like little octopus. It's pretty cute. It's just the little things. And for privacy. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check out the master bedroom. When you walk into the master bedroom, you're going to find your thermostat to your AC and your lights. And then they have this beautiful dresser. I love the color of this wood. And hidden storage. Where did and my that come favorite from? part has to be the shoe garage down below. Being a shoe guy, I want to keep them out of sight, especially I don't want my dogs to step on them or make them dirty. Yeah, that's important. We love our little shoe garage. It was um, notched out on our dresser. It didn't come originally like that, but when we came to the Lions Rally a couple years ago, the service guys came over and they're like, we got a surprise for you. All right, so you have four dresser drawers and under this beautiful bench, you have additional storage. So we have, a, we have two benches in our paradigm, which is great because you're able to sit here, put your shoes on. All right, this closet is massive. So it is plumb for a washer and dryer. You have shelves in here. And I love how the wood color matches the outside. I really like the front closet. The finish in here is really nice. As Martha mentioned, it matches everything with the rest of the trailer. And when I say completely finished, all the way top to bottom, the fit and finish in here is awesome. Little detail that I like a lot, the hanging bar has notches for clothes hangers. So your clothes aren't going to slide around when you put them in here. And then the left and right side is for your washer and dryer. And you have electrical outlets and light switches in there. So you have a big, huge RV King bed. You have a little platform here for your cell phones and your coffee in the morning. You have USB, regular outlets, and a light switch for above your mattress. What I like is they give you additional shelving in here. And the cool part is down below, you have um, open shelves. Above the dresser, they have it back for a TV if you want to put a TV on here. What Chris and I have done previous uh, travel trailer we had, we put in one of those little oscillating fans that mount on the wall. Just an idea. In the master bedroom is your Coleman Mach AC. You have three ACs in this trailer. It is ducted, and this one is a direct dump. All right, now what you've all been waiting for, we're going to have Joe give us the tour of the back bedroom. It's pretty epic. Which is why we call it the DBL for double bed loft. So head up, let's go back here. So this 
is your first, your second bedroom. So you have a queen size bed, almost queen size bed, a little smaller. Um, you have a head backing and you have a large window. Now you guys may have seen videos from Tampa where there was a couch and then a door here. So if you guys like that comment, let me know. Um, but we had enough feedback that people were like, we wouldn't really use that space. We'd rather have a second bed to fit more people. So we went ahead and made this change. And then behind me here, you have a barefoot friendly ladder. So it's very wide to the foot. So it's not one of those like little narrow steps. that's going to hurt your foot. And then you can get up here pretty easily. And you know, I'm 5'10", about 2'10", and I fit up here pretty nicely actually. So I could imagine my kids having a blast up here. You do have additional storage, might be a little hard to see. You got a nice window, so there's some light that's gonna come up here naturally. And then you do have the ducted AC up here, so it's not gonna get too hot. So underneath this almost queen size bed is plenty of storage. That's huge. Huge. That is huge. Tons of storage. And then something that I didn't really talk that much about was the, you know, you got a TV and additional storage here as well. And that's, look at how much space is in there. That is a lot of storage space. And then we already talked about the bathroom, but here is the bathroom for the guests that sleep back here. And this is the, this is the view you want to have. Like, look at that. Just imagine like mountains. Like, could you guys picture yourself here or what? <laughs> All right, we're there gonna we go. have to ask our friend Matt from Matt's RV Review and see if he thinks it's a prime pooping position. You know, he filmed this and I was so busy doing other stuff that I didn't even ask him. Oh. I should have asked. We'll have to ask Matt. <laughs> All right, Matt, is it a prime pooping position? Do we get a ding? Better <laughs> ask him. So we just wanna thank Joe for coming thank and you. showing us this beautiful new avenue. Uh, now question what are some of the creature comforts what are like yeah. some of the cool things about this Absolutely. we haven't highlighted yet yeah so there's a lot going on you know we talked about the floor plan mostly but what you're going to find is residential cam lights you're going to find not a thread of carpet throughout this whole unit which being a dog owner that's nice right yes you're going to find no in-floor heat ducts which we commonly refer to as crumb collectors so they're mm -hmm. all vented through the cabinetry um, we also have very nice lighting crown molding um, and then you're going to have plumbing shutoff valves at every major location. Uh, you're going to have flush floor slides. So you can oh, barely tell the difference where it goes. A lot of times there's going to be that inch and a half toe kicker is what we call it. Yeah. Um, and then beyond that, you're going to have just tons of space with the space saver chassis that we have here as well. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, we didn't highlight the shades. So what's cool about the shades is... They're a different color. They're a different color from yeah. any other brand. That is true. Um, but you, and if you want to, you can option in the day night shades, but these are what comes standard. Yeah, no, I like these. I like the lighter color. It makes it feel more bright in here. Okay. And it okay. makes it feel bigger. I, I, I agree with that. It definitely brightens it up in the day, in like the evening hours. Yeah. Um, can we have some of that contrasting brown in here? Mm hmm No, I think it looks great. Yeah. And now I do have a question for you, for your audience. So I was a big fan of the 2023 color t decor, where mm -hmm. it was the white, white and natural wood colors. Do you guys like this look, or do you guys like the white and natural wood? I'm just curious. Ooh, so I'm gonna link one of those videos down below or at the end of yeah. this video, just so you can compare. But for me, I actually like this color wood better. Okay. So yeah. it's just because I do like more, it, it reminds me more nature-like. You okay. know, you're outside, like what a natural tree would look like. I don't know. What do you think, Chris? I don't think it matters. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever she says. Oh, I'm smart, in. smart man right there. That's 25 years, y'all. 25 years. <laughs> Let me get Martha in there. There we go. Stand up, Martha. <laughs> Perfect. Go for it. All right. So this was fun having Joe come and give us a tour of the beautiful Alliance. The What model was this one this again? This is the Avenue 38 DBL. Okay, what do you guys think about this coach? Let us know down below in the comments. I'm impressed. I like the way they, I, I'm even going to go and say, I like this better than the dual suites. Ooh. And I love the okay. dual suites. So this okay. is, that, let me tell me, you know, tell me if I'm wrong. No, I, I agree with Chris. I like it. It's a little different and we do like the smaller size. Um, yep. 
having the loft the up loft. above mm -hmm. and just the layout of it. Yeah. Now for us, if you could turn that bed into like a sleeper sofa and add a desk in there, that sure. would be that would be something that would work for us. I mean, okay. who knows, maybe that might be our next next coach. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know what the next one is other than it's a Ooh. Delta. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for uh, watching our video and Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> I wasn't sure where she was going with it, y'all. Had a moment. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below because the algorithm loves us. And most importantly, go buy an Alliance RV. We yep. appreciate it. Join the Alliance and enjoy every moment. Happy camping, everyone. <laughs>